What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news. For those of you who have an iPhone 7 and want to jailbreak it on iOS 10.1.1 but you want a much more stable jailbreak than Yalu currently offers. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Yalu Plus Mac Portal. You probably do not know, some of you do not know, but if you're running on an iPhone 7 you need to use this one in here, the beta 3, in order to be able to jailbreak. If you go up in here there is also the beta 7 for all iOS 10 64-bit devices except the iPhone 7. So as you can see this one in here, the beta 7, has way more features and is way more stable than the Yalu Plus Mac Portal. And the iPhone 7 users who are jailbroken on the iOS 10 1.1 must likely know that there is no substrate and the jailbreak itself is crashing, it's working very bad, the SSH is not working properly and so on. The package I'm going to show you today is actually coming in, in handy in order to fix that thing and to enable the substrate properly on your device. I'm talking of course about Yalu 1011 package that is available on CDM on a special repo that I'm going to show you right now. And this is actually fixing most of the problems on the Yalu jailbreak for the iPhone 7. Uh, a lot of people have tried this in the past days and uh, ever since it was released and it looked pretty cool and it worked pretty well according to them, making their jailbreak way more stable up until 50% much more stable than it was before installing the pack on the iPhone 7. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So uh, what I'm talking about is actually, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go here in Cydia and show you, is actually a repo that provides only two things inside it. So it's pretty much simple to, to add. I'm going to open Cydia. Of course, I'm not running on an iPhone 7 right now, but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. You need to add the following repo in here, this one that I'm going to have uh, highlighted and you have it right now on the screen. If you go ahead in it, it has two single files in here, two simple files. Yalu uh, 1011 fix, which is the one you need, and the extender stashing fix. I'm going to go in here in Yalu um, 1011 fix and this is the actual package that is going to improve the way your Yalu uh, for iOS 10.1.1 is working on the iPhone 7. So let's read the information about this thing. Uh, quote, my style of fixing Yalu 1011 jailbreak. It contains auto starting of Cydia substrate, which is something important. Either way, you are not able to use any serious tweak and so on. And of course, the uh, stability is crappy without. Will, con uh, will contain launching demons like Rocket Bootstrap, which is something used by Anemone, for example. Note, only install on iPhone 7 Tempo 1.1. So uh, it has a limitation. Do not install this on the normal yellow. It's not going to help you to fix anything. It's probably going to uh, actually kill your jailbreak. I don't know, I didn't test it. But uh, the note in there is probably for a reason. So only install this on the iPhone 7. Now, it says that in this version, it fixes drop your SSH daemon and it runs all the time and it doesn't quit after some time. And of course, you need to install this and uh, away you go. So it's pretty much a simple tweak that I need to install and it's available, as I said, on this repo. The repo is available in the description down below if you want it. And it is going to fix the, uh, the jailbreak. Well, it's not going to make it completely perfect, but it's going to fix the substrate, which is one of the major problems with the Yalu jailbreak ever since it was released for the iPhone 7 is going to improve a little bit the SSH and is going to improve the um, demons. For example, without the, the uh, rocket uh, bootstrap demon uh, starting in the background, teams like Anemone that are running right now on the screen, as you can see from here, are impossible. Anemone is this application in here and for those of you who do not know it, it's a theming platform, pretty cool. You can simply change the themes as you want. So it's pretty much a very good fix. I really recommend you to try it out in the description down below, only for the iPhone 7. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.